Hello, I'm the elusive housewife. I have OCD that limits my ability as a mother and a housewife. And in my project I will be battling this by cleaning my house as a performance, taking care of my child as a performance, taking care of my pets as a performance. My whole entire everyday life is going to be documented as a performance. We are starting the day. I'm actually sick with a cold. That's why I haven't been filming for the past two days. So today is uh, January the 3rd and the first day of my project. When I'm taking the stairs, I'm always counting the steps. There are 14 steps. And I'm counting because I'm afraid to miss a step and drop my daughter. My daughter is actually pretty heavy. She's eight uh, kilograms now. So it's getting uh, increasingly difficult for me as well as the father to carry her. I'm going to make the bottle now. Actually, my daughter woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning and she already had a bottle. But then uh, we went back to sleep. At least she went back to sleep. I tried. And now it's 9 o'clock almost. So she can have another one. But actually now she's drinking one too many. So, yeah, this is, has to go in the plastic uh, bag. But I didn't take that out yet and yeah you can see that my house is quite messy even though I'm not showing you much but uh, that is why I'm making a project out of it because I want to tidy my house I want my family to be happy and healthy and cleaning is just one of the problems that I have because I have OCD obsessive compulsive disorder and it's like something in my head that um, the things are such a so big in my head like when I take something if I take yeah okay this I know this is trash so that I would throw out but um, maybe like a piece of clothing uh, yeah of course I could have sentimental value but also don't know what to do with it but actually I have it more with random items like these items I wouldn't know what to do if it doesn't have a, a pl place in the house. It's very difficult for me to give it a place. So yeah, I'm quite messy and I need to work on myself and that's what I'm trying to do with this year's, it's my new year's resolution actually. Uh, she takes uh, the milk is number two already. So number one is for infants and apparently in Netherlands all brands of milk uh, they are uh, yeah, forced to have uh, the same formula and uh, yeah by law it's uh, governed by law. So it's all the formula the number one formula is good for your baby and uh, has all the yeah, basic ingredients and no extra shit in it. And now she's drinking number two and that has probably more vitamins 
the minerals and uh, some uh, probably um, different uh, type of milk, a bit more fat, um, because yeah, babies can drink the original cow milk, <laughs> so to speak, because it's um, too fat. So it's being uh, thinned out in these uh, powders that we use for the bottle feeding. Uh, she already wants to talk with, uh, with uh, the camera. <laughs> I'm not so interested in eating. <laughs> but then again, she had an extra bottle at six o'clock, so she doesn't have to eat so much. But she finds the camera quite uh, yeah, fascinating. Or camera, it's actually my phone. I uh, use my phone to film performances because I find it easy. Uh, it's light and uh, portable. And yeah, the result is also quite okay. Only you can have some problems with lighting. For example, right now I have uh, some lights on in the house, it's not all natural light, which is not so good for the camera, for the, yeah, for the results, but good enough. George. George. He has a Dino. And Rota likes a Dino, George. Hello, Dino. And her little playpen. Some toys in there. Here it comes. Yeah, that's a nice toy. Yeah, it's a beaver. Beaver. From the Fabeltjes Krant. That's a Dutch show. Yeah, that's a nice toy. So now the baby is entertained, or at least entertaining herself in the, the little box. Uh, I will have to do some uh, housekeeping. Uh, I will have to do the laundry, and I will have to do the uh, cat toilets. So if you want to see that, stick around. Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a lot of laundry over here, over there. And it's all like mixed together. So now I need to separate uh, the light from the dark because otherwise the colors can uh, um, go over to uh, the white uh, laundry. So don't want that contamination <laughs> of colors. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. And then I'm going to be putting it in the uh, washing machine. And I wash at... Uh, yeah, one hour mixed uh, wash. So then we're gonna be 
putting it on the line or in the dryer over here. Uh, we'll see. Usually I don't put the baby clothes in the dryer because they can shrink, of course. So um, the baby clothes has to go up on the dry rack. Okay, so this is uh, right. We probably have a lot of white stuff. Yeah. And we have a cute little vintage uh, Los Angeles Olympics. What is it? 84 Olympics. Cool, huh? From uh, the Dutch Craigslist called My Flats. Um, this is dark, so let's put it here. Right. What is, yeah, this is difficult. Like, is it light or dark? Actually, it's like colored, so it has to go in its own pile. I also have a, a woolen. Uh, Romper. I don't know if it's romper in uh, English. It's romper in Dutch. I have no clue. But this thing here uh, is from wool and it has to be washed separately. A nice little romper. But yeah, it's kept here so I don't uh, mix it up with the, the normal laundry because then it will shrink a lot or something else will happen to it that is not so good. This kind of moly too. What is this? Ah. All kind of hieroglyphs <laughs> that I can't read. <laughs> Let me see what it's made of. Polyest of viscose, nylon. Okay, so this is not wool. And these things, I think they need to go separately because it's not the baby clothes. Okay. This is this cute little thing. Maybe this goes with the color. Yeah, this is more or less white. Okay, so. This pile probably gonna take a few spins because it's huge, maybe three, four times. So yeah, again, I won't be able to dry it in one time and drying takes a day or two. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to reach my goal <laughs> for laundry. And uh, actually the adult stuff I put in the dryer and uh, baby stuff uh, I put on the closing rack, drying rack. Yeah, still see there's the whole box full of uh, clothes that still has to be washed. And then I need to clean the cat toilet. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get to it. So I just filled this dryer with some towels that I washed yesterday and forgot to dry. And uh, I think I'll need to clean the filter and the water basin. Because the filter is dirty and there's water here. Yeah. So I'm going to do that and uh, then I'm going to load uh, the washing machine. I also took some stuff out of uh, here uh, that I need to fold. It's in the living room, but you'll see that later.
I think this is enough. Yeah, surprisingly it will be just two times, two sets of uh, washing. This needs to be cleaned. Okay, so I cleaned this. And now for the powder. Yeah, I use just basic uh, supermarkets uh, washing powder. It's in color, even though we have light uh, stuff, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So I use a lot of detergent. And then I use the Oxy powder. I'm almost ran out of it, so. Uh, but yeah, maybe, yeah, although it's useful to use the Oxy powder on baby clothes because, um, yeah, this could be um, spots from like uh, fruits, other foods which give off real color and it's just, uh, yeah, real messy and you need some extra stuff, Oxy powder to uh, clean it well. So yeah, I'm gonna put it on. So I, I use the mixed wash, it goes for one hour. You can put it to 30 degrees, which is more better for the planet. So yeah, little things help. A lot of noise in here. Actually the dryer, uh, when it runs at night, uh, I find it even hard to sleep sometimes. <laughs> so I'm about to make the porridge and uh, this is the rice uh, porridge and the uh, grain one. I need a 40 milliliter, no it's 130 for us. So we take that gonna warm it up in the microwave and uh, then put some milk in it and some porridge so there it goes we do 40 seconds in the microwave I think by the way that the washing machine is done so now I can uh, put up the baby clothes on a drying rack yeah I felt actually kind of tired already uh, after my break uh, it's probably because I'm sick but yeah the show must go on motherhood housewifing you can't just not do it it's not done There we go. Yeah, by the way, I'm standing in between these piles of clothes that are still here. So, uh, yeah, I need uh, my two hands, but maybe I can do this with one hand. Let me see. With the other hand, with my right hand. So we have a, like a spoony. Oh. It's not working very well. Okay, so there we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Um, actually, I need a spoon. So, yeah. Yeah. Now we're going for the grain. 
porridge. See if I can open it up with one hand. No, I need my teeth. I need to use my teeth. have another spoon here so from this uh, this little container so one two three four so usually that's enough by the way this rice porridge is for four months and older and this one is six months and older and by the end of the week the baby's going to be eight months so then we can buy another porridge and we're do doing all of them just switching up uh, uh, every day every other day we're doing another one like every day we're doing another one to get her more nutrients and just a bit of different different nutrients Yeah, so now I got my porridge and I got this little thing and we're gonna be feeding the baby. Let's put it on. You don't like it, I know. Okay, you have something to protect your pretty clothes. Yeah. This is my teeth. Here we go. Porridge. Yeah. She really likes porridge. I think she write, she likes the rice one better. But yeah, she needs to get used to these uh, other grains too. Basically, what's uh, the same stuff the bread is made of. Yeah. Good girl. And she opens her mouth up really well. I'm not fast enough? I'm not fast enough. Okay. You're learning English today. Normally we talk Dutch and Russian. But today we're talking English. Yeah. I heard that children, small children are best at learning languages. Because they like sponges and uh, they pick everything up, so like up to 10 years old or something. Yeah, so we're trying to learn three languages, Dutch, Russian, and English. Today we're practicing English, right? Come on. You don't want it? So I just put the baby in her bed because uh, she ate, she was changed and she was tired. And uh, as she's going to sleep, I'm going to take the time to rest a bit because I'm really tired. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I need some uh, time off. 
and I think it's mostly because I'm not used to uh, doing so much lately because uh, I was uh, sick with uh, sinus thrombosis. Uh, it has a slightly longer name in English, but uh, it's uh, blood cloth in the brain. And I had uh, speech impediments, I had uh, uh, ongoing headaches, and I had a loss of vision. And actually, I'm still see uh, a bit double when I walk outside and or sit in the car. And uh, I'm just uh, also having a cold for the last two days, uh, three days, it's the third day since uh, the New Year's Eve, which sucks. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm tired and I wanted to lay down here, but I see now that somebody else occupied my bed, not my bed, my couch. <laughs> and I need to, yeah, conquer the couch and uh, I have a cozy uh, vest on because I'm cold. It's winter, <laughs> uh, and I still have my short-sleeved outfit because this project actually supposed to start last year, somewhere in September, and then I delayed it October, November, December. But I, I, then again, I was sick with this thrombosis, and uh, I didn't get to it. So we're doing a, a project this year, and actually the colors of my uniform, the yellow and gray, are the Pantone colors of last year, 2001, because then, uh, then was the time that I came up with this project, The Elusive Housewife. And um, it's Elusive Housewife because uh, I thought that people can only see me in my outfits through the kitchen window that didn't have a curtain, now it has a curtain. So um, people, yeah, can maybe have more chance to grasp me in my outfit outside, but usually even without the outfit that I'm planning to wear all the time actually during this project, um, even, uh, yeah, in my daily life, which I'm documenting now, but uh, otherwise, I would go outside only to walk the dog, to buy the groceries, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, because of Corona pandemic, there's not much to do in the lockdown. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, basically I'm trapped inside uh, as the elusive housewife, and this is my world of art. My, my everyday life. And I'm going to tell you some other time how I came about to create art about the everyday life. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, I think it's enough material for another video. I will make sure to do that. And uh, also put it on my blog. It's quite cool. It's, uh, it was actually, I believe, my first artwork, which was an uh, intake exam for uh, the Willem de Koning Art School, but yeah, I think my my art didn't uh, progress much. I'm still doing the same thing as I was doing in that project, so more about that later. And now I will uh, try to get some rest because I'm really, really tired. And the baby's gonna be up in an hour or something, so I don't have much time. So this is my view right now from the couch. I have another one here. This one is old. Uh, yeah, we're waiting for him to die, but it's gonna take a few years. <laughs> yeah, so relaxing on the couch. So let me talk a little about about this project. It's uh, something I'm doing as part of an artist residency in motherhood. I started with another project uh, last year, but uh, this is the second project that I'm doing for an artist residency in motherhood. And the 
idea is basically that motherhood is uh, frowned upon in the art world. It is often an obstacle for artists, female artists, to um, yeah combine a career with a motherhood, uh, as for any mother in general. But uh, uh, it has been said by someone that uh, there are great artists who are parents and they are men. <laughs> because, yeah, it's uh, difficult for a woman to combine motherhood and career. And for men it's a bit easier because uh, they usually have uh, a partner, a female partner, who takes care of the children in the house and uh, the man can do the career and uh, yeah with me it's uh, a little bit different because my partner actually helps me out a lot he uh, does half of the parenting of the of the mothering fathering uh, experience <laughs> he actually has a, a job as a job as a father as well as a job on the side uh, to bring in some money but he works only two days a week officially so yeah I get a lot of help and still sometimes it feels like it's a lot to take care of everything so uh, yeah my new year's resolution is to uh, be a better mother and better housewife a housewife most of all because I got the mothering part down but uh, the house is uh, yeah it's an urgent uh, issue so I hope that uh, it won't take me too long to do everything but there's a lot to do there's a lot to do and then there will be a lot to do to keep up like I want to do the whole uh, solder what's the English word <laughs> for solder attic yeah I want to do the attic and uh, we have a lot of boxes there and most of them are half empty and uh, a lot of stuff need to go and I um, yeah I really need to declutter the house and because, um, yeah, I'm here most of the time, so I need to do it, be the one to do it. And it's most of my stuff anyway, because my partner doesn't have much stuff. Most of the stuff he has, I bought for him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I need to declutter, and I'm going to try the KonMari method by Marie Kondo, uh, which starts with the closet. But yeah, today I start with the things that need to be done, which was the laundry and uh, the cat toilets. Still, yeah, half, yeah, I'm halfway. Th I'm not even halfway through the laundry. I'm halfway through the laundry that I could do today um, because I need uh, some time for the clothes to dry on the drying rack. I can't put everything in the dryer, and uh, it's a problem now because. I got out uh, all the new clothes for my daughter because she's switching sizes from 68 to 74. She grown out of the up to six month clothes and now she's in the nine to 12 months. And it's just a lot of clothes that I bought for her and uh, I can't wash that all in one time. So I have to do it in uh, section, uh, yeah, sections, bits, uh, day by day, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll be doing it for the rest of the week. We will see how how fast it will go. But I'm doing my best. I just got um, the towels out of the dryer. So I'm folding them. And then I have to fold the clothes. <coughs> And then hopefully do the cat toilets, but maybe that will come tomorrow. <laughs> mm. 
So I folded the laundry. I also went to the kitchen and uh, thrown in some more clothes into the washing machine and got the baby clothes out, the wet ones. So those need to go upstairs. And look who's been here watching me without making too, my, too much scandal. Yes, you like to watch me. That is interesting. Yes, more interesting than being bored in the box. Yes. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm trying to teach her independence, so that's why I put her in there and let her play with the toys. And she does pretty well, actually. Only when daddy's home, she wants to sit on daddy's lap all the time. That's her big friend, daddy. Judy! Yes! Yes! We're learning English today. So actually, I'm pretty tired and I wanted to stop filming for today, but I still have yet uh, to uh, hang the baby clothes to dry. I think the cat toilets will have to wait until tomorrow. Uh, because now we need to go uh, to the supermarket to buy some dinner <clears throat> and then I will probably only film the hanging up the baby clothes and um, yeah I won't be filming for the rest of the evening because my working day will be officially over when my partner comes home and uh, to be honest it's been quite uh, exhausting today. I haven't uh, expected that and I'm not sure why because usually I'm not that tired from being at home um, and I do the laundry quite often actually but today uh, uh, it was just completely exhausting and I tried to lay on, on the couch a little bit but it didn't help so I probably needed like a nap or something and uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll take a nap when my partner comes home. But yeah, that was the first uh, try <laughs> of a day in the life of the elusive housewife. Yeah, let me know how you uh, like it. Uh, let me know if you want uh, to see specific things or uh, you have any tips on improving uh, the quality or something. I just. Uh, did uh, what I what I could with uh, what I have. Uh, yeah, and uh, we'll come, go from there. Well, we're gonna get ready uh, to go to the supermarket. So she's getting dressed up in this cute fluffy thingy that she's almost grown out of. So then she goes uh, to the green one that I showed you in doing the laundry. But that one needs to be washed, so she still has to squeeze in uh, to this one. And the funny thing is, the sleeves are still too long, but the legs, uh, yeah, basically are almost uh, not getting in there. So it's a long legged uh, lady <laughs> with short arms. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and Wait, we'll, we'll put this on first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put this on first. As you can see, we have uh, makeshifted the sort of commode uh, where to change the baby. We actually have a special table for that upstairs, but this is more convenient. And actually, that's how we've been living this whole time. That's Look how cute you are. Look how cute you are. Yes. Cute little fluffy baby. Okay. Now let's get into the stroller. What? What? Did you say something? No? Okay, we're going in.
<laughs> going for a walk. Yeah, we're going for a walk. Okay. Well, let me first wrap you up. I'm ready to go. Hello, there's a kitty on the dishwasher. What are you looking at, kitty? The kitty's name is Cleo. So these are the groceries that I got. So I need to put them away. Also, I need to do the dishes or Better said, I need to put the dishes in the dishwasher. Then I have this audience over there. Yeah, hi, say hi, wave, wave. No? Yeah? You gonna wave? Well, then I need to, I also need to put this away in that bin for tomorrow or another day when the, everything's dry. Ah. <sighs> So, so much work then I'm probably gonna cook also but I also need to feed the baby so yeah a lot of stuff to do before my partner gets, gets home yeah let's look at you again psst, psst. there's another camper hello what do you think of this mess So basically the cats are here because it's uh, almost feeding time and the ones it's the earlier the better. So I'm gonna give them some some yeah what is, what is this called? Cat food but I mean it's cat food but I mean what is this called? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Oh, this is the other happy camper. Uh, one second. This is plastic. This needs to go into the plastic bag. This is my medication. This junk here. A mask. Needs to also go in the plastic, probably. So this is all plastic. Okay, so now you get food. There's another one. I'm gonna get him. Where, where are you? Where are you? There you go. And he always throws uh, his uh, plates. Uh, on the edge and there's a lot of cat food in there so let me get a plastic bag get rid of this I almost forgot the dog and the dog needs to eat too so I'm gonna grab some of that and the dog's bowl is over here I think she also needs some water no, she still has some water. Okay. So I noticed that the dishwasher needs to be unloaded. So I'm going to go go ahead and do that. Uh, and I think I will keep the details of unloading for another video. Because we've seen enough for today. Uh, but uh, yeah, then I'm going to put that in and I'm gonna get ready to feed the baby again this time with uh, uh, these uh, things this little pots with food and she has some chicken pilaf broccoli with turkey and this is fruits beer and stuff so she's gonna have one of those 
and uh, yeah, then we're gonna get to cooking. Okay, so I did a bit of cleaning here, and uh, this is the new stuff in the dishwasher. And uh, the reason I was hurrying up and I didn't want to film anything is because the baby is getting hungry, and that is uh, always taking a. Or that means noise basically okay so this is gone as you can see the plastic is in the plastic bag right now and there's the paper and the glass and these bottles we can return to the supermarket okay so now it's feeding time again she can't wait so I'm putting this thingy on she doesn't like us so much Yeah, but this one, you don't mess up your pretty clothes. Here's the chicken pilaf today. We'll see how it how it does. She doesn't always like everything in the evening. How do you like it? gonna eat it, okay. Luckily, we'll see how much you'll eat. Sorry, Solomon, I don't have time for you right now. Like a muck baby mukbang, <laughs> only without talking. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? What's wrong, baby girl? <laughs> no, you can't be serious. Don't want to eat it, do you? No. Okay, so um, the next thing I can do is to try the uh, fruits. Yes, and otherwise it's gonna be the milk bottle again. Okay, so I got fruit, the pear uh, with uh, other fruits. See. Okay, this gets, goes better. You like it? It's a bit better. Sorry, Solomon, I don't have time for you. Oh, no time. No time. And as I was flushing down the chicken pilaf, I was thinking maybe she's too, um, it's too early for her to eat full meals and she just needs just veggies because she eats just fruit. And I wanted to give her like fruits and veggies like every day is something different because, uh, yeah, she gets three bottles normally and then the porridge in the morning and then something in the evening 
but I can squeeze in like an extra fruity snack because otherwise uh, I jeopardize the evening meal so it's either fruit or vegetables actually it was meals like uh, chicken pilaf and uh, macaroni and uh, sometimes she eats it and sometimes she doesn't so I'm going to try to get just veggies yeah so when I look back at today the things I've been doing indeed is quite a lot when you think of uh, yeah all these basically uh, yeah, how you call prejudices about uh, female artists mothers when do you find the time to make art unless life is art of course like we're trying in this vlog so yeah basically what I'm not showing is that I also be doing a lot of diaper changes each time she eats and sometimes more frequently if she poops and uh, putting the baby to bed each time uh, she's kind of sleepy and uh, moody and uh, I'm not filming everything but there's just much more work that goes into mothering each day and I just realized my partner should not blame me for being bad at the housekeeping because I'm already doing so much work just taking care of the baby I never th thought about it <laughs> but now I'm going to uh, show him um, show him the videos and I'm gonna say like don't blame me. I'm doing a lot of work Look, I have proof now yeah, So then it's time for to move the laundry from the washing machine to the dryer and Let's do that I already made sure that I uh, Oh yeah, I do have some baby clothes here, so I need to get that out and uh, put them on the drying rack. Because otherwise they can shrink, but everything else can go into the dryer. Yeah, so now you can see my face, it's maybe better when I'm talking to you, but yeah, I'm suffering from... Uh, basically three diseases, some more rare than others. Uh, in 2014 I had a acute uh, psychosis. I was uh, hospitalized against my will and I'm taking uh, medications, antipsychotics uh, ever since. Um, different experience with medication and uh, psychosis, uh, relapse, uh, stuff, uh, uh, stress and uh, anxiety attacks. Uh, that I can talk about in some other video. Then in um, 2019, 2020, I was pregnant with my first child and I developed uh, preeclampsia. Uh, and uh, as a result, actually, my daughter died in the womb and uh, I was very sick, uh, very swollen, uh, high blood pressure. I could have died, possibly. But uh, yeah, I guess I got to the hospital on time. Unfortunately, it was too late for my daughter. But uh, uh, patients that suffer preeclampsia, they um, uh, have uh, like a real uh, damage of the veins because, uh, because of the high blood pressure. So you have for the rest of your life more chance to uh, develop heart and vascular diseases. And uh, I suffer from high blood pressure as a result of uh, preeclampsia. And all throughout my second pregnancy with uh, Lota, this uh, child that you've been seeing. Uh, and uh, she also was born at 37 weeks. She was uh, taken uh, artificially. <laughs> like my, my, my delivery was induced artificially. So yeah, I was induced. That was the word I was looking for. And uh, yeah, I still have high blood pressure. My third disease was quite recent. I developed it last year, 2001, 2000, 2021, <laughs> 2021. Uh, so uh, 
when this project, the Lucy Housewives, was conceptualized, uh, I wanted to, uh, to work on my project, but um, uh, that was my alarm. Sorry, I need to take medication against the uh, blood clot. But yeah, I, I wanted to work on this project, the Lucy Housewives, but I got sick with sinus thrombosis, and it apparently it's rare, and preeclampsia. The way it happened to me is rare that you lose a child. But sinus thrombosis is a uh, uh, blood clot in the brain, in, in, in the larger veins of the brain. And as a result, uh, I had a speech impediment, so I couldn't uh, talk uh, one time for an hour or something. And uh, I also had headaches, and the headaches wouldn't go away. I had uh, headaches in my eyes. and. Um, I also got uh, uh, vision impairments as a result. I see a double vision, and it's still I'm still suffering from that. It's getting better the uh, the past few days because I started to wear these glasses where I can see with my both eyes, and my other glasses they were uh, taped so uh, I could see with one eye because the other one uh, if if I if I use my two eyes everything was in double vision quite extremely and now it's getting a bit better so I can handle it on the street or in the car uh, but it's quite uh, weird and uh, yeah we really need to adapt it's very uncomfortable but yeah in the house I can already see quite well so those uh, that is my medical history and I think yeah somehow it has to do <laughs> with me uh, being a housewife at this point because uh, uh, I'm considered a young handicapped in the Netherlands and uh, that's why I have uh, 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 benefits for uh, for the handicapped it's called Rayo and uh, yeah basically I sit at home because I can't work and I can't I'm not able to do much because of my mental illness and then all this other stuff that I'm suffering is uh, all this other diseases like the high blood pressure now and the thrombosis is kind of on top of that. So it makes life a bit harder, as if it wasn't hard enough. But uh, yeah, as a result, I'm a housewife. Although I'm really happy with my family because uh, it was the best decision in my life to uh, want to create a family. It took me. A long time actually I decided that I need a family right uh, after um, the acute psychosis in 2014 and ever since I was working towards that goal and first I uh, found a house then I found a partner then we uh, tried to get pregnant and that went wrong uh, our child died and I'm really happy that we're still together and we have a beautiful daughter and I'm not complaining that I have to do so much stuff in the house because yeah I gladly take care of my family and I want to do it more so that's like the goal of this project is uh, to do more stuff here and get things uh, on track and uh, clean my house <laughs> yeah, so now I will be cooking uh, I don't do that often because my partner is actually a professional cook uh, he's doing something else in terms of work now he's uh, washing windows but uh, because he's a cook, I let him do the work, let him do the cooking, because he knows everything better. However, sometimes when he's home late, yeah, I have to do it. <laughs> and because uh, my partner usually does the cooking, I'm a bit spoiled. And uh, I'm, I, I'm actually, I almost forgot how to cook myself. <laughs> as, not as if I was very good at it. Uh, I think I was quite mediocre, but uh, yeah, I'm going to cook now. So I have potatoes with uh, meatballs, or oh, this this meat gonna be meatballs, and these long beans. Uh, I think I have to do the potatoes first, then the meats, and then the beans in the end because the beans cook quickly. 
gonna try to time it well because that's just like a problem of mine. I'm really bad at timing the uh, the food, which has to go first and stuff. I usually do everything at once, and then you end up like things not working out. to prepare the uh, yeah I'm really I'm really lost for words <laughs> my English is so bad today uh, I mean I mean I'm talking about these things okay just just cover me what whatever this is like pan or something yeah am I, am I right is this a pen so yeah what will I need uh, this. So I will need this for the veggies. keeps putting these uh, things, piling these things up, I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, I need to clean this first. Also, one thing, one thing I don't like about my partner is that he always leaves the food and uh, can forget to like put it away. And I'm the one who has to do it, and uh, sometimes I don't think about it. And, uh, yeah, sometimes it's a problem because food gets wasted. Also need to cook the potatoes and the other pot is busy with oil so I'm, I'm not gonna do this I need to cook the potatoes first and then put the beans Babies need to sleep a lot during the day. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like I get around doing much when she's sleeping because sometimes, oh yeah, usually most of the time I'm so tired that uh, I'm just sitting on my phone and watching YouTube videos. Uh, I didn't film that today because I'm filming with my phone, so I can't uh, <laughs> let the phone play double roles, being in my hands, me watching YouTube and filming myself. I would need to use another camera to capture that, which will happen sometime. So, almost done. Okay, now I need to take care of this. 
this is how we clean the pants. potatoes. We make mashed potatoes with a bit of um, mustard and milk and uh, butter. So then I kind of dilute mashed potatoes. get to know me a little bit more like this. So, okay, now for the meatballs. use an apron. After all it's an apron so you can use it as a towel. <laughs> uh, yeah so I guess just salt and pepper. Maybe I shouldn't have put the meat on this cutting board. But, uh, yeah, I will need to wash it because I need to cut those. Cut those. Okay, so. Also need breadcrumbs, yeah, of course. So one egg. Okay, so here are the breadcrumbs.
add some of this to this one. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hands. used uh, baking uh, butter but uh, yeah I used the oil so yeah whatever So let's put uh, these into the bin with the baby clothes that needs to be hanged. Oh, I have to walk like three times. My hands are not big enough. Yeah, I hope this will all fit into the hanging rack because it's not so big. Okay, so let's put in the beans because uh, the water is cooking.
sorry for this uh, mess on the top of the yeah this stove because uh, I usually don't clean it but I think I will put it on my to-do list for tomorrow and uh, we'll try to do the rest of this mess tomorrow maybe I, I will be manage to clean the whole kitchen but uh, maybe it's something I need to uh, put on the to-do list for the coming week don't know uh, how things will be going I still need to do some laundry and the cat toilets so yeah we'll see how things go I think I've done enough today but I still have to hang the baby clothes to dry so to make the mashed potatoes I put in some mustard and some butter and some milk maybe we'll add some more milk I'm gonna mash this so this is the result and we're gonna put it on a plate now because the uh, veggies are also getting there and uh, my partner just came home so I'm just in time so this is the finished result a real Dutch meal with some mashed potatoes, beans and meatballs we have two of those so now it's time to hang up the baby clothes. I'm uh, in the actual baby room, but we're not using it as a baby room. It's kind of a stash. But uh, here I'm gonna hang the baby clothes to dry. Yeah, so today I kind of came to the realization that being a housewife is tough. So much work, you're tired, but you need to do everything and clean everything and not get into everything and that you need to do and uh, everything's dirty because I haven't been doing anything. But yeah, it's difficult to be a housewife in the sense of taking care of a child and doing all the housework, all the housekeeping uh, stuff, the um, laundry and uh, cooking and yeah, it's a tough life. And uh, now I start to understand uh, why... Uh, yeah, that is hard, but also why it's such a frowned upon thing in the art world. Because when you're living like this as a housewife, you really don't have time for anything. You don't have time to make art. Yeah, maybe right now I'm going to sit down to edit this video. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> my partner was so funny when he came home. He says, hello, my minion. You know, this um, characters from the movie Minions. <laughs> and then I thought, oh yeah, they're yellow and they wear grey clothes or something. <laughs> so it's such a funny, uh, yeah, coincidence that I'm looking like a Minion in my project. Although it's not intentional, I uh, just chose uh, the Pantone colors of 2000-2002. 21 um, and yeah that was yellow and gray so that's why I did 
did it. And not because of minions. Okay, so I'm done. There's still a bunch of stuff left that has to go in the dryer. That's the alarm um, for feeding, but she's already sleeping. So, because she went to bed at around 7, 7.30. And uh, daddy always brings her into the bed and gives her a kiss. Good night. Okay, so I'm done for today. Yeah, so I have to say it went quite well today. My first attempt at uh, vlogging my life as an, uh, the elusive housewife. Oh, what a day. Oh my God. Well, I don't know. I hope that you found it useful, that maybe you connected to it at some level. Maybe you learned something from it. I did. Uh, because I have uh, much more insight into my own life and the difficulty of it now. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, respect to all the mothers and housewives, moms or dads. Uh, and well, if you like it, you want to see more, I want to continue to do these vlogs and other videos of my performances as the elusive housewife this year in 2022 <laughs> i'm really bad at uh, pronouncing the year but uh yeah uh, it's now so i'm doing uh, these vlogs now this year and uh, if you want to see more subscribe and uh, if you want to support me buy me a coffee you can find the link below the video and uh, see you next time Bye-bye.